Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Catherine Constant, and I am the author of the book, Lady Wisdom Speaks. Lady Wisdom Speaks. How are you today? I hope all is well with you. I hope that you're experiencing some joy, that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Well, this morning, as I was reading in my devotional, I read um, in my book, number 77, devotional entry number 77, and it says, eat in peace, eat in peace. A dry crust eaten in peace is better than steak every day along with argument and strife. Proverbs 17, 1 TLB. And then Lady Wisdom asks, does peace rule your body? Does peace rule your body? And I want to read a little bit of this passage. It says, thank God for peace. We should seek peace each day. I recommend finding a quiet spot in your home in the morning and sitting calmly to meditate the Word of God. Continue praying for peace in your life. Playing calm music. I truly believe in music. Playing calm music in your house and car also can create the environment for peace. I recommend that you pray over your meals before you eat them. Play calm music and think about things that make you happy. On the other hand, argument and strife can destroy your health even if you're eating well. It is worth it to have all of the money. Is it? This is the question, I'm sorry. Is it worth it to have all of the money you need but not have peace in your life? Ooh. You have to determine what is best for you. Words from Lady Wisdom let us know that peace is the way to go. Hallelujah. And I'm going to pray this prayer in my book. I also have a prayer. Prayer. Dear Lord, let there be peace. Let us enjoy our meals. Please remove argument and strife. Amen. I'm sure that we all want this. We don't want any argument and strife. Hallelujah. It's better to just eat a piece of bread by yourself and feel calm and peace. Oh, yes. You know. Um, people are longing for peace. Peace than to have a steak with somebody. And anyway, it won't digest well. Have you ever been angry and upset? The first place that you feel is in your tummy, in your stomach. Hallelujah. That's why people suffer from different digestive issues, from anxiety and attack. Hallelujah. Because of that uh, feeling in their belly. No, 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 no. We don't want to feel arguments. Even I'm feeling uncomfortable just talking about that argument and strife. You know, we want peace. Let the peace of God reign in your hearts and in your mind. The peace of God. I pray peace. Peace, peace, peace in the world. I mean, sometimes when I'm listening to the television and the news, there's so much tension. There's so much argument and strife. People are upset about everything. People are protesting. There's no peace. So you have to create within your day, especially start your morning off with a peaceful word of God. Sit, start your morning off with a devotional time. Start your morning off with some good, soft, spiritual worship music so that you can generate peace in your heart. I mean, if you have time in the morning, just come and sit out in your garden and enjoy the peace of God. I hope that I'm bringing you peace. That's my goal, you know, <laughs> to help you experience some peace before you get to work or during the day, whenever you click on, hallelujah, that you will experience the peace of God. Well, if you like this video, then like, click, and subscribe. Yes, and share it with others. Comment below. If you agree with me about the peace of God and you want more peace, just say amen. Say, let there be peace 
and then say amen just comment down below even if you don't comment just say amen amen to peace hallelujah i think the more people who are praying peace hallelujah pray peace then we will experience peace in our communities peace are in the land the prayers of the righteous avail much that's what the word says so the more people who are praying peace the more that peace will come in the land evil will have to go you know and even the when we pray the lord's prayer says, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and the bible says that the kingdom of god is made up of righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost so we claim the peace of god we claim thy kingdom come we pray thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven we pray the peace of god yes and lady wisdom wants you to know that you are wonderful you are beautiful and you are God's gift to the world. So keep on shining. Go on out there and let your peace fill the atmosphere. Go on out there and let others know that peace reigns. Hallelujah. And you uh, are upset and you don't want any argument or strife in your place near you. You have decreed and declared war on the devil. You don't want any argument any strife you decree that your area this is a peace zone hallelujah that sounds good huh this is a peace zone all around you hallelujah that you want the atmosphere of peace and the way to do that is to praise the lord to worship him to give him glory just say hallelujah 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 yes will bring peace into your atmosphere peace into your location hallelujah well i gotta go <laughs> this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in, it. in jesus name love you stay in peace bye <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. I hear my birds. You know what? I really smell the perfume of the garden. The floral fragrance of the Holy Spirit. There's something with that aromatherapy. I'm getting instant aromatherapy in my garden. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bye.